so I guess it's Peter so this is a very special session because I also received several questions from roulette colleagues then also they like uh, programming and they like to see something how to say it under the hood <laughs> how it's how it's actually developed these apps and how do I work on that so I decided to you can call it like small preview from a backstage simply I decided to show you how it looks if you develop such an app and I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio and vb.net programming language so mostly I'm developing you know for Windows 10 and this is how for example portfolio app looks like this is a layout and user interface where you can click and change whatever you like any value you can change here and this is up to you this is how I develop that and how I put the all fields let's say together for one screen and for you actually using that once you fight against RNG so this is how it is developed so as I said this is not currently running app this is a app how it looks in a simply preview if you develop user interface and I decided to reveal to you one algorithm this one algorithm is well exp so you know this algorithm from crawler from some other apps so simply this is a velocity numbers algorithm so I'm going to show you how it looks from source code point of view um, for probably will be interesting for several of you not for everyone so this is let's say the code it's really written in the eb.net and this is a let's say procedure which takes care and ca calculates the whole velocity number algorithm so I'm not going to explain every single variable and cycle why there I just want to show you for your own reference I have a little bit scroll down and say what is just like an in general part of the algorithm and you can of course stop the video analyze yourself see what is inside and maybe if you decide to develop something for your own in Excel or so you can also use the similar approach and use this velocity number algorithm for yourself if you like so in general in the beginning I'm calculating certain hits for every single number so we have 37 numbers and arrays where you save the hits from the last 36 numbers which you have and then this is a let's say special part with the two four cycles where you're analyzing the currently number in the last 36 spins you are counting certain success and based on this success you assign to that every single number so for every number which means 37 numbers is calculated special ratio based on hitting and based on spins which you have in your money management and the, let's say the second part of the algorithm is to decide whether you will calculate the velocity score for every single number based on expectation of hit or not so there are certain conditions in this version I am using ratio also comparing success and non-success plus multiplying that with expectation of hit and in a certain version also I'm using only success and multiply with expectation of hit and based on this ratio every number that I'm here let's say sorting arrays and for numbers with the highest ratio from the calculation above I am selecting four numbers for play this is let's say complete velocity numbers algorithm it's it looks pretty easy of course there's also additional part where you have to assign numbers to the fields and showing them <laughs> for you then you know which numbers to bet on and how much and the whole money management is calculated somewhere else this is just algorithm how to select the numbers with the highest velocity numbers score or velocity number ratio this is algorithm how it is done there are also several other parts including money management and so which are part of the app as well 
so this was for you to to show you how algorithm is calculated currently this velocity algorithm it was a part of this nine algos which were part of the portfolio app in the past currently they are not there i added something else but this algorithm is still still here because can be any any time available if i would decide to do so so this is let's say my developing environment there are of course many other things which you have to consider and put together but this was just for me to give you first easy impression how i for example develop algorithms and how the apps layout look like so could look like so i would say thank you very much for watching this special more maybe technical session for you and i'll be happy of course to welcome you next time bye bye